just walk past the fire, Sybil. You have magic armor, it's fine. Alright. So, we found all the buttons, I think? We had three before. There's society. Uh, I think, what was the order? It was, um... I don't know. I don't know if I need to put put it the same order as we did for the safe or the the entrance anyway. But I think it was. Oh, let's see. Let's double check. I don't know. I don't remember actually. Um. That over there. Actually, all my notes are all jumbled up. I don't know which is which. Uh, Meister's note. Okay. Well, this is the problem, isn't it? Is it like... Because it's around here that I started managing my inventory. Like, down here, it's an artifact. Bruce. What was it again? I don't remember now. I can brute force it, I guess, but... Hmm. No, it's not there. Around here, yeah, okay. Letter from the doctor. My magister's model. In fact, I'll take it out. It was mind, society, body, and divine. Mind, society, body, and well, loyalty, I guess. So mind... I, I already forgot. Mind, society, body, divine. Mind... Society... Over here. Behind these walls. Mind, society... Body? Where's that body? Didn't sound successful. Oh, it wasn't? Oh, damn it. I guess it wasn't successful. I guess it's not the same way, or... Body... That didn't sound successful. Divine. Okay, so it's not that order. That didn't hmm. sound successful. Well, is it the same thing as before? So, what was it again? I kind of got, like, exactly what it was on the... When we entered, there's some mechanism. So is it like mine? Because uh... it was two and three that was reversed last time, right? So like, maybe mind body society divine. Mind body. There's some mechanism at work behind these walls. Society divine. Is it just the same order as when we entered? Okay, it seems correct so far. Keeps clicking, I guess. Now we just need to press this one. Okay, it opened. Alright, there you go. I did it. Amazing. Good. It's just piles of money, money, cash. Loads of money. Loads of money. That's a trap. It's a trap, though, apparently. Let me just grab these coins real quick before they explode and we die. The giant diamond right there, too. It's like. Yeah, give me that. It's only 500 gold, though. You know, I have, I have like, what, like 9,999 gold? Or not exactly, I guess. I guess kind of, well. Now I do. I have a lot of money there. Right there. 99,000 gold. Uh, in fact, Sybil, you hold like, well, you hold like a little bit, Sybil. You have a little bit. That's your salary. <laughs> in case for some reason I need to use gold, Sybil. I did it. You think it'd be a lot more gold than that. It's also funny how it says gold pile empty. Apparently it's empty. It's just all hollow, you see. Most of the gold in the outside part is actually just decoration. Just fake gold, apparently. Anyway. Hmm. Chest? Oh, open it. Okay, I had, I had the key, I guess. Uh, that's useless. Grab that. Wind up voice. Not that useful. Eh. Uh, at least we got some gold, I guess. A bunch of gems I can sell as well. Painting of Alexander. Throw it out there. What's this? Confiscated in ancient empire air staff. Is that like sellable, I guess? Hmm. Bunch of gold on the ground. Just one gold at a time. Some diamonds. You know what? Yeah. There's lots of stuff. This is your reward. Loads of money. Gems. There's a button there. Is that to just to close it? 
Bus of Alexander is sell for zero gold for some reason. What's over here? A hatch? Oh, it's a secret way into here, I guess. Maybe if you're sneaky, you can like walk past the uh, enemies there. If you wanted to, I guess. It's just an alternate way. Alternate way. A more sneaky way. That button didn't seem to do anything though. Maybe you turn off the traps, maybe? I don't know. There you go, just a little extra thing you could do. I guess an alternative way to get to where you wanted to go in the first place. Also, it's a little bit gold too, why not? All right. I think we're done here though. We can just move on. Careful now, that's a trap. <laughs> just, just step on the trap again. Okay, so the paladins, you know, the cops will deal with the rest of the investigations. We're just gonna move on. I guess probably go to talk to Ar Arho? Arhu? You know, some guy? Apparently that's where Dallas is. In some kind of crypt? Maybe? I don't know. Using her Adrian to do something? I don't know. I'm going over here though. I serve all who seek by the gods. And let me just sell my extra stuff and also identify some stuff as well. Like that, if I the skull ring. These gloves. These gloves. The leggings. Anything else? Oh, Alright. There, have these uh rubies. Diamond, giant diamonds. Rich. Miracle Gloves, uh, yeah, sell these. Strikers, actually better, actually, I'm gonna keep these. Uh, so I don't sell those. Sell this, I think. Mm, I don't know. Strength, I'll sell that, that's intelligence. Combat Dagger. Uh, this is a spear, so sell that, sell that too. And sell that. I'll sell these. Well, do I keep these scrolls? I don't know how to keep those scrolls. Anyway. Money. Yay. He has so much dude in that. Just like illegal drugs on him. Amazing. I put my scrolls in there, I think. Yeah, just put the scrolls in there. He put that there. His lockpick. Hmm. His leggings, I will equip. The scarring. Uh, Equip these. The power restoration. I mean, too much go here, Sybil. I have so much go I can't carry it at all. That way. I need jars of my my mag. Cause I can make the grenade. I don't know if I want it. I need to. Uh, these chain gloves are actually as as good, I guess. There's a better crit critical hit chance, but she doesn't really need that. So, that's fine. Order the defenses. I serve all who the gods. Watch you know what? Just take those my, my maggots. Just take those my maggots. Even let them surrender. Uh, Any upgrades I can get? Probably like a better axe already. Yeah. Biggest thing is uh, damage. Let's see. Something that's just level 18. Two handed mace. One handed mace. You know what? I want a sword. Is there, like, you have a two handed sword? I wonder. It's a one-handed sword. Like a sword. No, it's a classic two-handed sword. You have a sword I can buy. Why don't you get that all out of here? No two-handed swords, unfortunately. Get this. This is level 18 plus three strength. It seems very good. So you know what? It's just pure physical damage. That's fine. Whee. Let's grab that. 
Yeah. Might as well, uh... Do that. Give a better rune. Yeah. Um... I don't know if it matters, just do that. You have a dagger? Why don't you just skedaddle on out of here? I don't think she has daggers. She has strength armor though. I think specifically strength stuff. Full plate armor. That's really good. Enforced pants. Um, pretty much the same. Boots. Any good boots? Boots, boots, boots. Uh, hmm, not a big upgrade. Any good helmets? This one is better, even though it's common. I guess look at that. Roll up, roll up, don't be shy. You've got some fight in ya, then I've got one in it. That the ruin out there. Okay. Come as natives alive. Is this shopping? You know, divinity. The more to play the more you play the game, the, the more you learn that you just need to shop a lot. I wonder if just just these massive wood runes is just better in general because I don't need most of this magic stuff, you know, the frost, venom, thunder, earth, rock runes. They kind of just do nothing for me for the most part. Except maybe if I put it on a accessory, but not that useful. You know what? I'm lazy. Just sell the runes. I don't like it clutters my inventory. Just sell it. Sell these as well. I don't need those. I want to see if there's a, a dagger that she can buy. Though she has no, she has a pretty strong dagger already, so I guess he doesn't need that. Hmm, what is this? This is a spear. Oh, I thought it was a dagger for some reason. So it's just a strong dagger. No, not that at all. Any upgrades for this? It's a slight upgrade. Gloves, maybe? No. Oh, what does she need for one? I want to make sure all our gear is at uh, the same level because at this point I feel like in Endgame the, the stats scale to your level very very obviously or very extremely I guess so she needs a better chest and better belt if possible the elf stands in front of a cart displaying various sundries hmm. he warmly motions to you and gives you a broad better smile. chest armor this is level 16, this is level 18. Grab that. And then a better belt if possible. There's no belts though. He doesn't sell belts as far as I know. That's fine. Don't fret, my leg. No, fret. Do not fret. Might as well put a root in that as well. Put that in there, why not? And then. Tell that. Good. I wish there was a way. I don't know. Maybe there is a way. I just been haven't been paying attention. I wish there was a way to equip the armor that you're about to equip anyway. You know, and then just sell whatever you didn't need it to the vendor directly instead of like you know, because I'm gonna sell the old equipment anyway, right? Yeah. Whatever. Does still have a good shield as well. Let's check. Level 19 actually, she's way better than her level, and she can use it about uh, uh, accuracy, or rather a penalty to accuracy, because I think that's what it does if you don't. Only for weapons, I think. Shields are fine, hopefully. Oh, there's a ghost next to you? Why is there a ghost next to you? An older man observes the nearby painter. He tut tuts to himself. Tut tut. That poor boy is wasting his time walking upon well-trodden paths. I thought I raised him better than that. Okay, you're his dad. His dad ghost. Did you tell him what you thought of his little picture? Hmm. Unfortunate, isn't it? He isn't without talent, but he never overcame the fact that he was my son. Did you paint the sacrifice of Lucian? Of course. Yes, you did. My finest work. I Blood and source. I had for that piece. All of my skills, my it's missing, by the way. Curses. This city is infested with thieves. 
My hmm. son has suffered much from them as well, but the culprits go always unpunished, scattering into the ark sewers like the rats that they are. Hmm. So the thieves might be in the sewers, is the idea. So I have to go trudging around some sewers to find the thieves, maybe, and put it back in uh, Cam's vault to open the door and then find some other loot, maybe? I don't know why I should, but maybe there's a bigger treasure there. Hmm. Well, since we're geared up and everything, a level 18, I, I was just wondering if we should fight the Kraken, you know? I think the Kraken is about the same level. Let's try it. Let's just go back to the Kraken boss and let's try our hand at defeating it again. Because last time we tried, we were just destroyed. But let's see if we do better. Uh, which way is it? Is it... Oh, is this way, I think? This way. Because with a little strategy, I think... We don't, you know, necessarily cheese it, but there might be a better way to attack me. I think. Just looking back, just remembering what I did last time. Just like standing in front of the Kraken is probably a bad idea. How about we don't do that, you know? Probably a good, you know, a good plan. Get close enough that they're gonna start attacking us, but then... I'll see. Oh. Oh, I'm, ba I'm basically what I'm trying to do is uh, like summon the Kraken, but then just don't be in this line of sight. Because I feel like one of the, like not only are the enemies hard, but the Kraken itself was just the barraging us with his giant spit, basically. And what we could do probably is just not be in front of the Kraken. You know, just like get away, get over here maybe, and then it'll probably be good for us. I don't know. Here's the Void Devourer. There's another guy over here as well. A bunch of tentacles pop up as well, but we can deal with that later, I think. Instead. Let's get close. The cutscene plays, like last time. Rawr! Big giant Kraken. This little thing on his head. Reminds me of, uh... Actually, what do you call them? I, can't, I forget what you call them. You know, those, those type of fish that... Are, uh... They live in the very depths of the ocean. And they have a little lamp... Light thing that... They use to... Catch the attention of their prey. To trick them into their mouths and then they eat them. Nom nom nom. Anyway, here's the plan. Just run away, basically. And hopefully, the, well, I don't know. Can the Kraken still attack us from here? Hopefully not. This fire helps as well, I think. Because, uh, again, we've been just... Last time, we were just destroyed because they just kept attacking us with magic. Magic spells that froze us. And this just, you know... Continuously just keep kept freezing us forever. Instead, how about we fight over here on our terms next to some fire? I don't know if it'll help us that much because probably they'll just extinguish the fire real quick, but maybe it'll help a little bit. Uh, have a bit of haste. Live minded. Amazing. And we just wait here. I can also teleport. That's also a thing to do, I guess. Well, we'll just wait. Because these tentacles, if we don't get close, you know, they can't do anything, right? They just... If we break line of sight, they're not gonna do much. Unless they teleport. Hopefully, you know, hopefully these enemies don't know how to use the, the teleport spell. <laughs> that would ruin things quite fast. How do I take magic damage, by the way? How does that happen? Level cooling. Wet them with chill, suffocating. Was oh, that what it is? Oh, it's because we're under some smoke. Is that what it is? All right, they're right in front of us now. Let's see. This was this one over here too. I guess I'll kill this one first though. It's right in front of us. So. A bit of that. Do way more damage. What level are there? Yeah, they're level 18, so it's gonna be too hard. And they're already dead, amazing. Just critical hit, already dead, good. Let's see. Um, I don't like being on ice, unfortunately. Also, we're suff Why are we suffocating? I don't know. Is it because we're like in the smoke? I can't, because I can't hover over the smoke to make sure we're or actually on the smoke. Uh, just to be safe though, let me just like, go over here. Not walking on ice, because every time that we walk up the ice, we just slip on our asses. Every time. And let me just do a bit of soothing coat, I guess. 
And a bit, uh, a bit of this as well. Guardian Angel! Whee! Alright. Then, uh, can we hit you from here? No. We're still just hidden, I guess. I mean, we're just gonna wait at you know? In that case. I feel like this will go way better because we're not dealing with the Kraken at the same time. I feel like that's what makes the battle that's what makes the battle ex extremely difficult, you know? If you're just standing in front of the Kraken and then it's just doing a bunch of damage to your face. But if you just simply don't do that, then uh, you just have to deal with these guys, which are not too bad, as I, I say, as I slip on my butt again. Why does it happen every time? God damn it. Stab you. Probably sleeping arms. And then a rupture tendons. If you try to run away, which probably you will. This guy's gonna come up. Join in on the fun. And you are. Oh, just a freezing touch. To yourself, I guess, to heal up. Hmm. That's all you'll do, I guess, because now I'm gonna hit you. Yeah, like that. You're dead. Good. Experience. Finally, things are looking up, unlike last time, where I just lost every battle I fought here in the beginning, you know? Aesop. Um, I don't know. Man, a little metal? Why not? But no, we're kind of just like, not really in any danger. We're just waiting for this guy to come up, maybe. Ah, uh, but he has like... Oh no, okay, good. He is going up a little bit. I was wondering if he's just gonna stand there and attack us all day. Let's so I have to like hopefully don't slip on the ice. Or rather, you know, not slip on the ice at all. That's because I simply teleport over it. What else? Is there another monster around here? I thought there was. Huh. I thought there was another monster, I guess not. Okay. And now that's it, right? Unless uh, we can f we can attack the Kraken directly, I guess. I don't know how that works. We don't have any range spells, <laughs> um, so I don't know. I don't know how it works. I guess we just have to fight the tentacles now, right? I assume. Hmm. Can I attack it from here? I, well, I have a shield throw, I guess. I can throw the shield at the Kraken. That's also a thing. Probably not a good idea to stand in the water, though. Do that. You know, his tentacle needles, yeah, they don't do a lot of damage, really. So it's not too bad. It's cracking, though, it might be a danger, however. Did I slip? I think I slipped, didn't I? I got chilled, actually. Yeah. That's what happened. I'm just gonna wait. Also use Deflective Barrier. In fact, yeah, use Deflective Barrier and then just stand here. Well, I guess the biggest danger is the actual Kraken itself doing a spell. That's what it often did when we were in range. Fro still frozen? Why are you still frozen? Yeah. I have another Bouncing Shield. Kill this tentacle at least. Does it do damage to the Kraken? I don't know if it does. Okay, deflected. Haha. <laughs> Get parried. Still frozen? You're still. Are you still? I think she's fine now, but before she was frozen, I guess. Hmm. Can I teleport these? Ten Can I teleport a crack? <laughs> that would break the game. I don't think I could. I don't, know. I don't think I teleport the Kraken. I wonder if I can do that. Teleport the Kraken. Too far away. Teleport the Kraken. It's too far away still. Apparently. Yeah, teleport his tentacle. Invalid target. I imagine not. I don't think you can teleport a freaking tentacle or a kraken or anything like that. So what counts as a backstab? I guess over here? Oil barrel? Huh. I mean, we're here, though. Abyssal Waters. It does a lot of damage. Wah! Decaying. That's not... I'm frozen again, damn it. 
Let me just kill this thing. No, don't. Ah, don't skip my turn. Damn it. I pressed space thinking that would like cancel my movement for some reason. That's not how it works, I guess. I mean, obviously. I was trying to like stop moving because I was. Oh, it doesn't matter, I guess. Because I was trying to hit his backside, but it's too late now. Sawtooth knife. And also, uh... With this. Get my magic on the back. What's this, uh, what does Cursed Water do? It gives decaying, that's it? Okay. So I can't heal, unfortunately. I can get myself armor, though. And then, uh, I mean, just wait. The curse, but we're clear-minded. More spit. This is what I call it, it's just spit. Just spitting at us. And the dress just, it's just still frozen all day, all day long. Anyway, just kill this tentacle. This is all I wanted to do, you know? It's all I wanted to do. Tactical retreat. Woo! I'm already hasted. Can't restore because I'm decaying, right? Or am I? I'm cursed, but not decaying, actually. It doesn't matter, really. But... Nah, just wait. It's barfing at us. Alright, can I stop being chilled? Please. Stop it. Stop being chilled. If possible. Do a little bit of encouragement. In fact, do a bit of Phoenix dive. Go all the way over here, maybe. The biggest danger is we lose all our armor, and I don't, I don't know. Can can the Kraken freeze us? Because that's the that's the deadliest combo. When we fought the uh, we're burning, uh, when we fought the uh, the Kraken and the other monsters at the same time, because the monsters can use freezing spells, while the Kraken keeps just like barfing water at us, which obviously makes it a lot harder. Oh, we can just summon? Okay. This makes things a lot harder. Suddenly. Predator? Uh oh. I didn't know you could do that. Frozen block my magic armor. Um. Hmm. This this might end up like last time, where I just get frozen over and over. Because this guy can freeze, I guess. I've noticed that Frozen was blocked by magic armor in the first place. Um, how am I gonna do this? Let's see, probably well, do, do as much damage as I can, I guess. Onslaught. Kill him! Okay, good, he's dead. They can probably, the Kraken can probably just summon again, though. Unfortunately. Necrofire. Am I decaying, though? I don't think I'm decaying. So I like the heal up. Just a little bit of healing. Shield throw. Okay, tentacles gone. Restoration. Over here. And maybe, well, I don't know. Uncanny vision for... Yeah, yourself. I don't know if it helps. Can you dodge tentacle needles? Yeah, you can. Okay. Ha! Dodge! Easy. Dodging like Neo from the Matrix. Can't kill her with bullets! <laughs> just, just miss all your attacks, good. Can't dodge water though. Oh, can you? Did she dodge it? I think she did, maybe. I don't know. Alright. Let's see. I mean, we just gotta walk, I guess. Ooh, ooh, la la la. Do, 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 do. Just smack this thing. And it's gone. Okay, just one smack and it's dead. Not enough AP to go there, though. I guess. Can I blitz, though? I can blitz. Yeah. And the Kraken... Leaves? Oh. Okay. I want. Oh, I wonder if you can kill it. I don't know if it died or did it just leave? I'm not sure if it did. I got experience either way, I guess. 
There you go. That's the Kraken right there. I've defeated it. At the very least. I don't know if it's dead. It just looked like it kind of left, though. I don't know. It didn't, like, go, like, and explode or anything. It just left. So. Hmm. Magisters. Okay. I think they mentioned, like, a ship, I guess? It came in the harbor, I think. Someone mentioned something like that. Yeah, this is just the harbor. This is on the minimap. Any spirits? I'm the spirit of you. The spirit of a dock worker thrashes about, trying to shake something. The spirit oh. successfully fends off whatever was attacking him. <laughs> okay. You know, I'll just consume your soul. Don't worry about it. If I didn't do this, he would have to live his eternal afterlife uh, fighting a tentacle forever. I don't know if anyone really want to do that. The spirit of a paladin lurks near some cargo at the edge of the dock. Explorer's memories. You do your best to remain inconspicuous, observing the scene from behind some barrels and crates stacked near the water's edge. The Lord Dread looms ahead of you. Mm. Yeah, that's a ship. Herself descends the gangway, Freedman following at a distance. You need to report this to Lord Ken. The traitors are here. Yeah, okay. So they came here, and this is where the attack started. It's only when you try to sneak away that you realize something has curled itself around your ankle. A powerful tentacle. It pulls you towards the water. Hmm. Dead Magister. Chemical Warfare. Okay, that's what you call it, I guess. Can I just... Oh, I can walk here, but it's probably better to walk the other way. The Magister is here, yes. Oh, so Ranger. A lot of ghosts, I guess, around here. Another one over there. A dwarf. The spirit of a dwarf cowers behind some rubble. One of her legs is suddenly yanked backwards, and she's You know what? Fine. I'll just consume yourself. I need some source, so this guy's gonna consume you. Real quick. You just, you just need a little source. Don't worry about it. Anything else around here? Barrels. The spirit of a woman gazes up at something looming high above. A huge unseen. Okay, she sees the giant kraken. I guess the kraken came after, but then the kraken attacked the ship as well. So I don't know. I wonder what happened. The Dallas just say, ah, I don't need this ship anymore. Just summon the kraken at the same time. The spirit of a magister mimes. Because the magisters were the ones that were he seems summoning the Voidwoken, right? Or maybe they simply the tried to but lost control. I don't know. Anyway. Delvin memory. You snap to attention as she descends from the Lord Dread, Dallas herself. If only your parents were still alive to see this, they'd be so proud. So proud. Look at Dallas. A flicker of movement catches your eye. Something alongside the ship, beside the water's surface, a writhing mass of huge tentacles. Tentacles. You reach for your weapon. Hmm. So, okay, so maybe Dallas wasn't prepared for that. Maybe they were attacked. Uh, unintentionally by the Kraken at the same time. You know, he could, you could you imagine maybe Dallas got murdered by the Kraken, but probably not. She's too important for that, right? She's, she has plot armor. And then again, Wendigo also supposedly had plot armor because she seemed like the main villain of the game in the very beginning, but as it turns out, she's not that important. Uh, it would be quite a disappointment if Dallas just simply died from the Kraken. I don't think so. Probably not. Anything in here? It seems like there's nothing here. It's just a random basement that, l that led to nowhere, I guess. I don't know. Can I use spare vision? Is there a ghost around here? Is this just a, just a random cellar? <laughs> nothing inside. That seems pointless. I don't know. Maybe there's a secret there. But I didn't see it. Anyway. Let's walk over here. I want to get on the ship, actually. Like over here, maybe? How do you go over here? It's like walk stairs over here? Okay. Walk over there. I assume my characters will know the way. Right. I'm a civilian. This is just dead spirits. Don't worry about it. Another hatch over there. I kind of just get on the ship. I wonder if there's anything on the ship, any clues. You know? Or maybe there isn't. The spirit of a magister trembles stand with your unit in silence as Dallas barks a motivating speech. Motivating speech. You don't watch the hammer, but the Vreedman creature that trails. Vreedman. Oh, is that how you say? It? I was at Redman. Because, you know, red. 
Reed was Reedman. You search the darkness underneath his hood for a clue. Who is this man? This sorcerer? Well, it's Brackus Rex, it? as it turns out. He stands out. at Dallas' side and is not imprisoned in Fort Joy, where... And suddenly, within the cloak's shadows, there is a light, a flash of teeth, a wicked grin. Suddenly, you realize he's... Everything goes dark. You see nothing. You know nothing. Okay. He smiled, apparently. I wonder if he be this, did Brackus Rex betray Dallas? I mean, they're probably... A <laughs> be uh, likely because Dallas was uh, planning on killing it's the Lord Dread. killing Brackus what's left of Lord Dread? she was planning on uh, you know killing Brackus Rex after she was done in the first place anyway right so maybe they betrayed each other in the last second a key is it gold Anything else? Go on the ship over here. There's a chest over there. Maybe the key I just got opens this chest. What's inside? It's a potion. I don't need that. I'll just consume it right now. Official looking letter, okay. To all white magisters aboard Lord Dread, Dallas and Vriedman have deported, uh, departed for the magisters barracks. It's their wish that you leave the meeting site and join them there forthwith. Dallas will instruct you further and soon after you shall reveal the grand design of the Divine Order. Well, you know, about the white magisters that went to the barracks, they all killed themselves, I guess. These are your orders. Failure to comply will be considered treason to the law of Lucian. Raymond. We learn, we learn about them. It's for a long gift. I guess that's actually way better, so I just might as well equip that. Grants a skill, Living Wall. What does that do? I probably shouldn't do it now. Oh, I just wonder if anything else. Magister is more spirit vision. Any ghosts around here now? Okay, yeah, let me do a Living Wall real quick. What does it do? This is a wall, I guess. Okay. Amazing. It's a wall. Of vines, poisonous vines. Good. I guess that's it. That's the reward for defeating the Kraken as well as some experience. Good. Now well, we defeated a foe that we weren't able to defeat last time. So at least there's that. Also, why is this? Where's this ice here? Is there like an ice monster down there? Let me check. Bloody freezing. We can't stay here. Hmm. Are those frozen? Why is it so cold? Yeah, how is it so cold? Why is it so cold? Yeah, why is it so cold? I don't understand. There's a chest there, though. Teeth won't stop shuttering. We're gonna freeze to death. Unfortunately, we don't have the... We need to get back to warmth. It's too cold here. Hmm. I wonder if there... I mean, I don't have any fire spells, unfortunately, so I can't do anything about this. I wonder if I can... Let's see. Just do it real quick. I teleport this chest. Oh, I can't. I can't look at the chest. It's out of here. The chest. Chest, 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 chest. Teleport chest over here. My teeth will stop chattering. No, I can't. It block. <laughs> ah, we missed. We missed our chance. We need to get back to. I assume if we stay there down, uh, stay down there too long, we just simply die. I guess. I assume that's what happens. I'm gonna wait for the cooldown. Eh. It's very cold here for some reason. I don't know why. I guess those guys froze to death. My teeth. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, there's the chest. Give me that chest. A frozen chest. Oh, it's locked though. Eh. Come on. Hmm. I wonder though. Let's see. Because I saw some oil there. I can't stay down there for too long, but. It would be useful if I had the Tyrant's Helm. I, I think I sold it, right? I think I did. Oil barrel. Let's see. It has some fire. That's, no, that's a resin now. Use fire some grenade. Uh, hopefully this won't burn those guys to death. It's too cold here. It's too cold here. Now you're all burning, but... Darling, you're alright. Game over. <laughs> Your party was defeated. Okay. Well, that didn't work. I can, like, 
you know, cause a bit of fire temporarily. It's funny how like a plus 20 attitude, but they didn't leave. They're still stuck there. And then they just froze to death again. I wonder how you use, I don't know. I mean, I guess you just need fire, right? Or have the Tyrant Helm. But I think the Tyrant Helm warms you up as you go. I wonder if I have still have that. I don't know. Get that out of there. Manage runes. Equip, uh... Actually, well, at least Giant Flame Room does give you critical hit chance, so I keep that at least. I don't like any of the other runes, but that one gives you critical hit chance, so that's good. Hmm. I wonder what you do here. I don't know. I open the chest, but I can't do much. And I, I can take the chest, but... <laughs> what do you do here? The letter there. Dead Magister Grunt. Why is it so cold here? I don't understand. Is there anything I can do here? I wonder. Teeth won't stop chattering. Teeth won't stop chattering. Yeah, it's just too cold here. I don't know, unless I'd be super quick, but I don't know if I can make a. Oh no, we're dead again. <laughs> we're dead again. Nah, <laughs> stay too long. Game over. Damn, yeah, what a weird place. Why is there frozen? This is a freezer. Hmm. I don't know what you do there. Unless again, you have the the thing that makes you eternally warm, I guess, or something. Or like um. Have like a spell that uh, constantly puts you on fire. You have like a high pyrokinetic spell or something. But we don't have that. We have grenades, but it doesn't really help too much. Eh, I'm not worried about it. There's just a bunch of frozen people down there. Whatever. They'll just be frozen forever. Yeah, it's funny how like I unfroze them, but then they didn't leave. You know, probably a probably good idea to leave. Why are you just standing there? Hmm. It would be great if I could like teleport. I, obviously, I can't. There's, there's a very low chance I could do it. It is possible, I guess. But it took a really long time. But I was wondering if we could tell. Well, I don't know. Probably not, actually. Never mind. Because it's a different instance. Because I was going to say, you know, teleport those. Uh, Burning renovants, you know those cursed renovants in the consulate? Because they're burning forever. I wonder if we could just put them, grab them and put them in the freezer. But I guess you can't because you can't like... You teleport them over like over the world here very tediously, but... You can't uh... Put them in a different instance, you know? You can't put them through the actual hatch, I imagine. So you can't do that. Oh well. Anyway. I should fast travel. I don't know why I'm walking all the way here. Fast travel. Right. Where do I go now, though? I don't know what the next thing is to do. Hammerfell. Speaking of Lord Arhu. I don't know who Arhu is. Where is Arhu? Tending in the mansion. Doctor's orders. There's the demons I need to fight still. But they're level 20. I have to wait until I level up, I think. Uh, I'm going stay on the Lady Vengeance, hoping for the Sworn Breaker. I don't have the Sworn Breaker. Do I? I don't know. I remember. I don't remember if I have the Sworn Breaker. Apparently, you're supposed to retrieve both parts of the Sworn Breaker from the Nameless Isle. I don't remember that, so I don't know if I have it. I don't think I. I don't think I did. I got. I remember getting a piece of a sword, but I don't think I have that. Kim's Garden. Yeah, something to do with Lord Orhu in the garden. The drama link. Big Tomora with the painting. Apparently, they might be in the sewers. And we read about the mistake, apparently. And school's out. Huh. School's out. What should we do next, Sybil? Can you tell me? Please, speak. Please speak. What should be the next move? Last I heard, Godhood awaits. If only we can wrest it from Dallas. First. Okay, just find Dallas. Easy. There's more blood down there than water. Hmm. There probably is like a whole dungeon in the sewers. I don't know if I want to go down there. No, it probably is stinky, you know? Stinks. Yeah, very stinky. Stinky sewer. Mm. 
This is uh, the... Let me talk to... Maybe if I talk to... Um, Cam's wife again. I don't know if he'll say anything different. Go away! I'm, hi I'm hiding. I mean, all she said was like to not talk to her, you know, basically. But let me come out wherever you are. Do you mind? I have guests at present. Not the sort you're. Hmm. Well, what if I? What? What if I put on a fancy hat? Actually. Where is, where is that hat? Where did I put it? I put it in a pouch, maybe? Put it somewhere. Yeah, right here. I have a fancy hat. If I put on this fancy hat, am I fancy enough for you now? I'll talk to my husband. Ah, uh, yes, a fellow noble. Such a dignified carriage could belong to no Of course. I'll have a fancy hat, so therefore I'm a noble. Someone of my own station. Not that I would judge these present plebeians. They are plebeians? here by invitation, of course. Is that how you pronounce? Because I always, I always thought it was, you know, plebeians for one, but also, I guess, plebeians as well. But she said it weirdly. What did she say? Plebeians? Or, I don't know. I forgot what she said now. Anyway. People like them keep the city's wheels turning and its boats afloat. Magicians among us, truly. An afternoon of hot tea and warm recitations is the least I can offer them. Okay, she's a very smug, rich person. Um, she made those sounds kind of mark on her party. So intriguing. Uh, what about the demons in your garden, by the way? Oh, but you seem to be a bit feverish. Violent plants, that's simply impossible. Those seeds were a gift from the doctor himself. As exotic as these symptoms you've presented with, I dare say. Perhaps you should see him, dear. Something is clearly ailing you. No one believes me about the, you know, monster plants in her garden. Um... Hmm. Yes, indeed. Why, a lady without I don't a problem. care, actually. Would you care to try your hand at it? I have three varieties, perhaps some other time. Well, do make the most of your... I was hoping she would have something, some useful information for me, but I guess not. Can I talk to you guys? Well, I guess it probably, uh... Oh, actually, what? I don't know that I have ever seen Lady Kemp with her husband. Unusual, I should say. <laughs> okay. But Apparently they don't get along, I don't know. Tell me about it. Mm, yes, I must agree. I must agree. We were hoping well, hello you again. You looking well, my lady. Um, uh, party? Every citizen of Arx gets a tea party. My husband couldn't make it. Lady Cam's bright cheeks fall and her jaw goes slack. She's lost. But I think you'll find present company more than. Do be careful. Alright, well. I just put on well, my isn't thing this again. Convivial. <laughs> my helmet looks weird. Look at that helmet. You looks like a you know, typical fantasy helmet. Anyway. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Tell me about yourselves. Come no out. useful information from her. I feel like. Where's this cat? My daddy wouldn't let me play with that cat. Where is the cat? What are you talking about? What cat? Where? Come out, come out, wherever you hmm. are. Check upstairs again. Is there a cat? Did I miss a cat around here, maybe? I saw a dog. This is a dog around here. I wonder if there's a cat around here, you know? Lord Arhu? Lord Arhu, where are you? Mm, it's locked. Eh. Let me go away. I can uh, pick lock it, actually, but... I don't know if there's any reason to. Fancy journal. Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of lost because I don't know where to go. Necessarily. I'm going to check the map. Because I was hoping I could find the cat just walking around. But maybe not. Does it say where... Let's see. This is Cathedral. Cathedral is where the painting is, I imagine. Well, then again, the cathedral is also where... Is that, isn't that where Dallas was going, you know? Because I thought she was going to a crypt or something. Because that would be where the doctor is, but that's not where she's going, right? She's going to... or she was going to, uh, the cathedral. Let's go here. Oh, I haven't really explored it, so let's go north, I guess. Paladins killed unarmed magisters. 
Didn't even let him surrender. Do, 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 do. Let's go north. What level I am? I'm level 18 still. I feel like I'm still not strong enough to fight the demons. I think I'd be level 19 first. Oh, here's the, yeah, here's the, well, actually, yoke. Okay, so I thought it was the HQ, but I mean, it's a cathedral. Maybe it's a mix. You know, it's a cathedral and also the HQ for the paladins right now. Hmm. Who are you? Lucian's blessings to you, stranger. I am Sister Avani, the head priestess of the cathedral. Hmm. Yeah, he, uh, Dallas came by, right? When the Void Woken attacked, we hid pilgrims and priests alike in our quarters. All survived, I'm glad to say. But if Dallas had arrived during that time, no one would have seen her pass by. Yet without Lord Arhu's cooperation, she would have to pass the Path of Blood to gain access. And thus far, no one has survived the attempt. The Path of Blood. I think the the town crier says something about that. You know, just don't have sins. I guess, well, maybe the Path of Blood is just like... You know? Just don't have sins, don't kill anyone. Pacifist run? Probably can't do that. Um, I thought Arhu was in charge. Lord Arhu is the keeper of the cathedral. Mm, he's the keeper. Are it's different. Only he can approach the remains of the divine, for instance. Can I see Lord Arhu? Today! Another time, perhaps. Next week or next month? Next month, okay. We'll just wait until Within next month. Dress, I'll see what I can arrange. But today is Lucian's day. And be a hero. Your tensions are good, I swear. Cannot be disturbed. Intelligence. Tell you, you might find the key to fixing all the things that's gone wrong. I'm an acquaintance. Or oh, you're in a hurry. This is important, gods damn it. Gods damn it, because there's multiple gods. Though, aren't the gods dead by now? I don't know. Or soldier. Commend their especially souls towards hierarchy, but demand that she do all ask the same. Some matters supersede normal protocol. I mean, it doesn't matter, I guess. Choose hero, but not really a hero, am I? Um, I can pretend to be a hero though. You know what? I'm an anti-hero. Ah, damn it. I simply cannot help you. Okay. But she can't help us, unfortunately. Hmm. I mean, obviously, persuasion in general is not our strong suit, so. You can walk around though. Look around. See if we find our who. What a delightful snack you make. What a delightful snack? You want to eat dogs? Grr. What are you, a lizard? Lizards eat dogs. No, Crazy. My heart. I pledge my heart, Lucian. Come back. Okay, they're pr these little orphans are praying Lucian. for Lucian. What are they doing? What? What did they even do? A dead chicken? They like sacrifice a chicken? I don't know about this. I don't think this is more like a satanic ritual. I, don't know. I pledge myself to you, oh Lucian. Please. Okay, well. With weird children. My life. I spotted something. I spotted something apparently? What was this? Oh, but I probably... Well, it's a cash, but probably if I touch it. Unless I sneak? Uh, there's too many witnesses. I can't... We came all this way. Oh, well. I Unless I murder everyone. Please. No witnesses if they're all dead, right? Mm. I don't know. No choice to walk around till we see... Maybe a hint of where Arhu is. We need him to get to the tomb and probably try to kill Ta Dallas before she does whatever she wants to do. Maybe. Can I go inside here? Oh, Pilgrim! May Lucian return. Good sure. luck on the path of blood, Pilgrim. I hope you're truly free from sin. Seems unlikely, judging by the look of you. <laughs> Unlikely. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, pilgrim. Oh. Me. Say your prayer. Okay. Well. Oh. Is it the path of blood? It's a literal path of blood, I guess. Hmm. I pledge my life, Odusha. Literally a path of blood. Have you come to join us in the endless prayer, or do you wish to walk the path of? Blood. What is it exactly, Lucian's though? Day wouldn't be the same without the faithful gathering to petition for his return. The more voices that join our cry, the better. Um. Uh, Arhu, it's urgent. Or it's Arhu. Oh dear. But I'm afraid he has retired to his cathedral chambers. He is preparing the Lucian's Day benediction and must not be disturbed. 
have to find where he is. Probably break in, you know? Anyway, Path of Blood. What, what is it exactly? Ah, the Path of Blood is a uh, more advanced form of pilgrimage. I would not advise it unless you believe yourself to be free from sin. And trust me, none are free from sin. Hmm. It's the original sin, so. The path of blood ends in death for those who attempt it. Consider yourself warned. It was Lord Ahu's creation. He is the crypt's keeper, of course, and oversaw the construction himself. He couldn't have done it without the help of Sanders, though. Quite a talent for engineering, that one. Well, probably. We need to talk to Arhu and say, Hey, turn off your path of blood so I can just walk over it or something. Spends most of his time tinkering with toys nowadays. Such a pity. But that's the price you pay for genius, I suppose. Okay, what about Endless Prayer? It was mentioned before. It's just like a... I mean, it's just a prayer for Lucian, I guess. The sign suggests that if we pray hard enough... Yes, Lucian pray hard enough. ...return to save us. Every year. And I guess right now, because Lucian's dead, technically. It happened pretty recently, as far as I know, in, you know, in the story. But I guess, you know, it's like, we're just praying for Lucian's return. Since he's died and everything, just return, Lucian, dummy. Please happens if I, I mean, me first! Me first. Okay. Are you pure? I guess not. She's not pure. Um, I don't know if I should go there. I'll probably just die, most likely. I guess if you, I don't know. It's like sin, as in like. Oh, we can try. Let's go down and talk to them. We can try anyway. I don't imagine our character is free from from sin, <laughs> you know. But we can just go here anyway and say, "Hey, what's up?" Something close the door. Hmm. Yeah, loot you. I'm not. Uh, hi. Looking at this, I'd say we're close to Lucian's body. There's a dead pilgrim. <laughs> Is this blood here? Do you just have infinite blood? That's weird. Where do you get this? Where do you get all this blood from, by the way? I don't know where they get all this blood from. Who's in charge of that? Lucian's statue creaks and groans. When it speaks, its voice is stony. It grinds and crackles with magic. Thou shalt answer four questions. Art thou ready? Sure. Dust thou steel. Uh. Property is a lie. Thou art impure. Thou dost not pass. Dead. Okay. Try again. Oh, technically, well, did we steal? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I mean, Sybil probably failed too. Because she actually definitely did steal. Which is funny. So I guess, yeah, we just die. Uh, we can't leave, though, unfortunately. I guess we're just stuck here. We, we can say, well, we can lie. How the hell are we going to make an honest living? Uh, I would never steal from another. Bleh. Okay, we're dead. So there's, I guess, four sins. I don't know. Maybe if you just never steal. I imagine another sin of probably killing. Never kill anyone. It's, I don't know, near impossible. You never lie. You never steal. You never kill. Or and something else like that. And maybe you can pass the path of blood. But obviously that's not very doable for most characters. I imagine, well, actually, I've heard of like a pacifist playthrough of this game. It's possible, just not very, you know, easy. And not something everyone does. On the first playthrough in particular. So I guess what we need to do in order to in order to progress is probably talk to Arhu. I don't, I don't know where Arhu is. I gotta, we gotta look around and find him. Just bust into his old bedroom and just say grab him by the throat and let me pass. I don't know. That's probably what we need to do. So. Pledge my soul to Lucian. Please return. He'll never return. Can I just like Summon. Can I just electrify the waters and kill everyone? Like, I don't have any electric spells. What happens if I do that? Eh. Eh. No, that's not what I want. Eh. Thunderbolt grenade. Get electrified. Ah ha ha. Okay, well. 
Anyway. <laughs>